Ever wonder where all your hard-earned cash disappears to? Well, buckle up because today we're diving deep into 21 things you're wasting your money on and how to stop. From unused gym memberships to those daily coffee splurges, we've got the inside scoop on how to plug those financial leaks and start building your wealth. So, are you ready to take control of your finances? Stick around to discover practical tips and tricks to stretch your dollar further. And if you like what you hear, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more money-saving content delivered straight to your inbox. Let's get started. The gym membership you signed up for, but hardly ever use. We've all been there. You had every intention of hitting the gym regularly. But life gets busy. And before you know it, you're shelling out money for a membership you barely use. But here's the thing. You don't need fancy equipment or a crowded gym to stay in shape. You can get a great workout right at home using simple exercises like squats, push-ups, and planks. Not only will you save money on membership fees, but you'll also have the convenience of working out whenever it fits into your schedule. Think about it. No more rushing to the gym after work or dealing with crowded machines. With a few basic exercises and maybe a set of resistance bands, you can get a full body workout without ever leaving your living room. So why waste money on a gym membership you hardly use when you can achieve your fitness goals right at home? It's time to ditch the excuses and start saving money. Now, let's talk about high expense ratios. Sounds fancy, right? Well, it's basically like a sneaky fee that eats into your investment returns. Picture this, you're putting your hard-earned money into mutual funds, or ETFs, hoping to see some growth. But guess what? Those investment firms are skimming off the top with their hefty fees, leaving you with less money in your pocket. But there's a simple solution to this financial sneak attack. Instead of pouring your cash into funds with sky-high expenses, opt for something more wallet-friendly like index funds. Take Vanguard's Total Stock Market Index Fund, a.k.a. VTSAX, for example. It's like the superhero of low expense ratios swooping in to save the day and maximize your returns. So next time you're considering where to stash your hard-earned cash, remember to keep an eye out for those pesky expense ratios. All right, now let's dive into the world of fast fashion, the land of trendy clothes that seem like a bargain, but often end up costing us more in the long run. Meet Sarah, a fashion-forward college student who's always on the hunt for the latest styles at affordable prices. Every weekend, she hits up her favorite fast fashion stores, filling her closet with cute tops, trendy jeans, and statement accessories. At first, it feels like she's scoring big-time deals, but before long, she starts to notice a pattern. The clothes she buys start to fall apart after just a few wears, and she finds herself back at the store, replacing them with more of the same. Not only is she spending more money than she planned, but she's also contributing to a culture of waste and environmental harm. But don't worry, Sarah. There's a better way. Instead of falling for the fast fashion trap, Sarah learns to invest in quality pieces that will last longer and stand the test of time. She starts shopping secondhand, exploring thrift stores and online resale sites for unique finds that won't break the bank or harm the planet. With a little creativity and a lot of savvy, Sarah transforms her wardrobe and her wallet for the better. I hope this video is useful for you. If you want more videos like this, please comment, video, and I'll keep making them. Let's talk about those pesky late fees that can sneak up on you when you least expect it. Picture this. You're busy juggling work, family, and everything in between. And before you know it, the due date for your bills has come and gone. Suddenly, you're slapped with an extra charge. But fear not. There's a simple solution to avoid these unwanted fees. Set up automatic payments for your bills. It's like putting your finances on autopilot so you can focus on the things that matter most without worrying about missing a payment. Whether it's your credit card, internet bill, or utilities, a few clicks is all it takes to stay on top of your finances and say goodbye to late fees for good. So next time you're staring down a pile of bills, remember, automatic payments are your best friend. Now let's talk about bank account fees, you know, those little charges that chip away at your balance without you even realizing it. But fear not. We're here to shed some light on how to avoid them and keep more of your hard-earned cash in your pocket. So here's the deal. Banks might hit you with monthly maintenance or service fees for your checking or savings accounts. And if you're not careful, those fees can really add up over time, leaving you wondering where all your money went. But don't worry. 
There's a simple solution. Just take a few minutes to review the requirements for your accounts and make sure you're meeting them. Sometimes, all it takes is maintaining a minimum balance or setting up direct deposit to waive those pesky fees. By staying on top of your account activity and choosing the right account for your needs, you can avoid those unnecessary charges and keep your finances on track. After all, every penny counts when it comes to cutting back on the 21 things you're wasting your money on and how to stop. So remember, it's all about being proactive and making informed choices when it comes to your banking. All right, let's talk about something that's got a lot of people dreaming big lottery tickets. Now, don't get me wrong, the allure of hitting the jackpot can be pretty enticing. But here's the scoop. The odds of winning are like finding a needle in a haystack. Seriously, it's like trying to catch a unicorn, rare and unlikely. Remember what Albert Einstein once said, the only way to win at roulette is to steal money from the table when the dealer's not looking. Now, while we're not condoning any table thievery here, Einstein's point rings true. Relying on pure luck isn't a solid financial strategy. Instead of banking on a one in a million shot, why not invest in something with more guaranteed returns? Whether it's stashing away some cash in a savings account or diving into the world of investing, there are plenty of smarter ways to grow your money over time. So, next time you're tempted to throw down some dough on a lottery ticket, maybe consider putting it towards something with a bit more certainty. Now let's talk about those extra warranties they push when you're buying electronics. You know the drill, they promise peace of mind, but do they really deliver? Here's the deal. Those extended warranties can cost a pretty penny, and most of the time, they're not worth it. Think about it. You're already shelling out a good chunk of change for the gadget itself. Do you really want to add more to the bill? Instead of forking over your hard-earned cash for something you might not even need, consider this. Most electronics come with a standard warranty that covers you in case anything goes wrong. And if you're really worried about accidents or repairs down the line, why not stash away a little emergency fund instead? That way you'll have the cash on hand if you ever need it, without wasting money on unnecessary warranties. So next time you're at the checkout counter and they try to upsell you on an extended warranty, just say no thanks and keep your money where it belongs in your wallet. All right, let's talk about that daily cup of coffee habit. We all love a good coffee, right? But here's the thing, those daily trips to the coffee shop can really add up. Think about it, a few bucks here and there might not seem like much, but over time, it can really put a dent in your wallet. Nah. So what's the solution? Well, you don't have to give up your beloved brew altogether. Instead, consider brewing your own coffee at home. It's super easy. All you need is a coffee maker and some ground coffee beans. Not only will you save money, but you'll also have the freedom to customize your drink just the way you like it. And if you're really craving that fancy latte or cappuccino, why not treat yourself to one every now and then? By cutting back on those daily trips to the coffee shop, you'll free up some extra cash for other things you enjoy, like that weekend brunch with friends or a new pair of shoes. All right, let's talk about daily lunch purchases. You know how it is. That daily trip to the sandwich shop or the fast food joint can really add up over time. But here's the thing. You might be spending more than you realize. Think about it. Those $10 lunches might not seem like much, but when you're doing it every day, it can really put a dent in your wallet. But don't worry. I've got some tips to help you save some cash without sacrificing convenience. One thing you can do is pack your own lunch. Yeah, I know it sounds basic but hear me out. By making your own meals at home, you can control what you eat and how much you spend. Plus, it's a lot healthier than relying on takeout all the time. Another option is to meal prep on the weekends. Spend a couple of hours cooking up a big batch of something tasty, then portion it out into containers for the week ahead. Not only will you save time during the week, but you'll also save money by buying ingredients in bulk. All right, let's dig into a common money pitfall, overbuying food. Picture this, you stroll through the grocery store, tossing items into your cart without a second thought. But here's the kicker, a lot of that food ends up going to waste. It's like throwing your hard-earned cash straight into the trash bin. But fear not, there's a simple solution to curb this wasteful spending. It's all about mindful grocery shopping and meal planning. Before you hit the store, take a peek in your fridge and pantry to see what you already have. Then make a list of what you need 
and stick to it like glue. Trust me, your bank account and the planet will thank you for it. And speaking of saving money, let's circle back to our main topic, 21 things you're wasting your money on and how to stop. Remember, it's all about being smart with your spending and making every dollar count. Let's talk about something we all encounter every day, bottled water. Sure, it's convenient to grab a bottle on the go, but have you ever stopped to think about the cost? Not just the dollars you're spending, but the environmental cost too. Those plastic bottles end up in landfills, polluting our planet and harming wildlife. But fear not, there's a simple solution. Switch to a reusable water bottle. Not only will you save money in the long run, but you'll also reduce your carbon footprint. Plus, most tap water is just as safe if not safer than bottled water. So fill up your reusable bottle and drink up guilt-free. And here's a fun fact. If you drink the recommended eight glasses of water a day from bottled water, you could spend up to $1,400 a year. That's a lot of cash you could be saving or spending on something more meaningful. Now let's talk about underused subscriptions. You know those monthly fees we forget about until they show up on our bank statements? Yeah, those. Here's the deal, we sign up for streaming services, magazine subscriptions, maybe even a gym membership with the best intentions. But then life gets busy, and suddenly we're paying for things we hardly use. But there's a simple solution. Take stock of your subscriptions and ask yourself, Am I really getting my money's worth? If the answer is no, it might be time to trim the fat. Cancel the ones you're not using and put that money towards something you'll actually enjoy, like treating yourself to a nice dinner or saving up for that dream vacation. By being mindful of where your money is going, you can free up funds for the things that truly bring you joy. All right, now let's talk about those old school physical magazines and newspapers. Now, don't get me wrong. Flipping through glossy pages or rustling the newspaper can feel nostalgic. But in today's digital age, it might be time to rethink those subscriptions. Here's the deal. Why shell out your hard-earned cash for print subscriptions when you can access the same content online for free or at a fraction of the cost? I mean, think about it. With just a few clicks, you can dive into articles, news stories, and features without cluttering up your mailbox or recycling bin. Plus, let's not forget about the environmental impact. Every glossy magazine or newspaper you toss adds up to more waste in landfills. By making the switch to digital subscriptions, you're not only saving money, but also doing your part to reduce your carbon footprint. Now let's talk about cable TV. You know that thing that sucks up your money faster than a vacuum cleaner? But hey, who can blame us? Those endless channels and binge-worthy shows are hard to resist. But here's the thing. They come with a hefty price tag attached. So, you're shelling out big bucks every month for a cable package that you barely use. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. Many people are realizing that there's a better way to get their TV fix without breaking the bank. Enter streaming services like Netflix and Hulu. For a fraction of the cost of cable, you can enjoy a vast library of movies, TV shows, and original content, all at your fingertips. Plus, with no contracts or hidden fees, you're in control of what you watch and how much you spend. So next time you're tempted to renew that pricey cable subscription, think again. Cutting the cord could be the key to unlocking big savings and a whole lot more entertainment options. All right, now let's talk about expedited shipping. Ever find yourself tempted by expedited shipping options? You know when you're anxiously waiting for that package to arrive and the website offers you the chance to speed up the delivery for a few extra bucks. It's like a siren's call, promising instant gratification. But before you click that button, let's take a moment to think it through. You see, standard shipping is often just as reliable and doesn't cost you a penny extra. Sure, you might have to wait a couple more days for your package to arrive, but think of it as a little exercise in patience. Plus, those savings can really add up over time. So next time you're faced with the choice between expedited and standard shipping, ask yourself if those few extra days are really worth the price tag. And speaking of saving money, let's circle back to our main topic, 21 things you're wasting your money on and how to stop. It's all about being mindful of where our hard-earned cash is going and taking steps to plug those money leaks. Now. Let's talk about those pesky ATM fees. 
You know those sneaky charges that pop up when you're just trying to access your own money? Well, fear not, because there's a simple way to avoid them. You see, instead of blindly swiping your card at any old ATM, take a moment to scope out your options. Look for ATMs that belong to your bank's network. You know, the ones with your bank's logo plastered all over them. By sticking to these in network ATMs, you can sidestep those annoying fees and keep more cash in your wallet where it belongs. But what if you're in an emergency and there's no in-network ATM in sight? Well, fear not, because there are still ways to avoid those fees. Consider using alternative payment methods like mobile banking or peer-to-peer -peer payment apps. With just a few taps on your phone, you can send money to friends, pay bills, and even withdraw cash, all without ever setting foot in an ATM. With a little planning and foresight, you can say goodbye to unnecessary charges and keep more of your hard-earned money where it belongs, in your pocket. Now let's talk about those sneaky fees you might encounter when using your credit card abroad. You know when you're on that dream vacation, and suddenly you swipe your card for a souvenir or a meal, only to find an extra charge on your statement later? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Foreign transaction fees. Here's the deal. Some credit cards slap on these fees every time you make a purchase in a foreign currency, or even if you buy something from a foreign-based company online. It might seem like just a few bucks here and there, but trust me, they can really add up over the course of your trip. But don't sweat it. There's a simple solution. Look for a credit card that doesn't charge these pesky fees. Yep, they do exist. These cards are like your secret weapon for international travel. No hidden fees, no surprises, just smooth sailing or flying wherever you go. So before you jet off on your next adventure, do yourself a favor and check out your credit card's foreign transaction fee policy. With the right card in your wallet, you can enjoy your trip without having to worry about being taken advantage of at every turn. All right, now let's talk about hotels, those cozy places we crash in during our adventures. Now they can cost a pretty penny, but here's a secret. You can actually score free stays. Yep, you heard me right. How? Well, it's all about playing the credit card game smartly. See, some credit cards reward you with points or miles for every dollar you spend. And guess what? You can redeem those points for hotel stays. So imagine this. You're planning your next getaway, and instead of shelling out big bucks for a hotel room, you cash in your credit card points and voila, free stay. It's like getting a little bonus for your everyday spending. Plus, some cards even offer perks like complimentary breakfast or room upgrades, making your stay even sweeter. Now I know what you're thinking, credit cards can be tricky, but fear not. With a little research and responsible spending, you can make the most of those rewards without getting in over your head. All right, let's talk about airline fees. You know, those annoying fees that can turn a budget-friendly trip into a wallet-draining affair. Picture this. You're all set for your dream vacation, but suddenly you're hit with baggage fees, seat selection fees, and who knows what else. It's like a never-ending game of pay-up. But here's the deal. You don't have to let those fees ruin your travel plans. Enter the hero of our story, the Fly Smiles card. With one of these bad boys in your wallet, you can say goodbye to baggage fees and hello to priority boarding. It's like getting VIP treatment without breaking the bank. So next time you're booking a flight, consider the perks that come with a Fly Smiles card. Not only will you save money on those pesky fees, but you'll also enjoy a smoother and more enjoyable travel experience. Now let's talk about something that might sound a bit technical, but is super important. Private Mortgage Insurance, or PMI for short. So here's the deal. When you buy a home with less than a 20 percentage down payment, the lender might ask you to get PMI. Sounds like a hassle, right? Well, it kinda is. PMI is like insurance for the lender in case you can't pay your mortgage. But here's the kicker, you're the one paying for it. Yep, it's an extra cost on top of your mortgage payment and it can really add up over time. But fear not, there's a silver lining. You see, PMI isn't forever. Once you've paid down enough of your mortgage to have at least 20% equity in your home, you can kiss PMI goodbye. That means more money in your pocket every month and one less thing to worry about. So. How do you avoid PMI? Simple, save up for a larger down payment. By putting down 20% or more when you buy your home, you can skip the PMI altogether. Sure, it might take a bit longer to save up that much cash, but trust me, it's worth it in the long run. 
All right, let's talk about tax deduction. Did you know that when you're filing your taxes, there are some sneaky deductions you might be missing out on? Yep, these little deductions can add up to big savings, so it's worth paying attention to. One deduction you might not know about is the student loan interest deduction. If you've been paying interest on your student loans, you could be eligible to deduct up to $2,500 from your taxable income. That's money back in your pocket. Another deduction to keep in mind is for medical expenses. If you've had significant medical expenses throughout the year, like doctor's visits, prescriptions, or even certain medical procedures, you might be able to deduct a portion of those expenses from your taxes. And let's not forget about charitable contributions. If you've donated money or goods to a qualified charity, you can often deduct those contributions from your taxable income. It's a win-win. You're helping others and saving money on your taxes at the same time. So, the next time you're preparing to file your taxes, be sure to look into these deductions and see if you qualify. You might be surprised at how much you can save. And that's a wrap, guys. We've just spilled the beans on 21 things you're wasting your money on and how to stop. Now armed with these money-saving tips, you're ready to tackle your budget like a pro. So go ahead, implement one or two of these strategies today, and watch those savings pile up. Remember, the purpose of this video is to educate you on various aspects of what you need to know about trading versus investing and not to give you any specific advice. It may involve risks and uncertainties, and you should always do your own research and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. However, past performance does not guarantee future results, and you should always consider the risk of investing and trading before putting your money at stake. Now, if you want to know how to master money and escape the rat race, I recommend you watch my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your support and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.